Now the details. The Mankarigu Health Facility in the North Gunja district of the Northern Region is heavily under-resourced, compelling health workers to improvise to save lives. Eva Atibuka reports pregnant women run shift for the only delivery bed. The facility has not seen any renovation works. Bees have taken over the building, serving over 40 communities in the district. The facility records all sorts of ailments. The hospital has only one delivery bed, and pregnant women are compelled to fast track their delivery to make way for others. I will send the other one to the living room, the other one to the ward. Yeah, I'll monitor both of them. The one who is progressing well, yeah, I'll put a certain mark on the person. Because there's no enough beds, I have to discharge them first. Just to space, give a way to the other next woman. The facility has no electricity and relies on solar energy, which does not supply adequate power. Sometimes, if there's a, a case in the delivery side, we have to hang to it like in our necks while conducting. Not only in the delivery side, even the other sec other OPD and the other clinical side. We improvise by using robots to just prevent any infection from contact. Ceiling fans and light bulbs are decorations as they do not work. When we visited the cold room, in less than two minutes, we started sweating. The fridge is on the pad and drugs which require low temperatures, we were told, were already damaged. The facility is located 48 miles from the district capital with no access roads. The only ambulance donated to the hospital two years ago to assist in its operations has not been used before. With the onset of the rings, officials are apprehensive of the challenges ahead. The long and short of our problem is our road network. You can imagine if a woman is in labor. The hospital at workers there would have to refer the woman to Daboya which is the district capital, and for that matter, the biggest clinic in the district. You can understand what the woman will go through. 